want to ask a very simple question. What is the chemical structure of vitamin K? Where can we resource it online in the public domain databases that we have access to today? A couple of things first. Vitamin K just isn't vitamin K. There are actually three forms of it. The one we're interested in is called vitamin K1, phytomenodione, and it's derived from plants. Before we go off and search through the online databases, let's find what we would trust as a chemical structure for vitamin K1. One place I trust, the Merck Index, manually curated, been around for many years, now in its 14th edition. Merck Index is highly trustworthy. Not perfect, any chemical structure database has its issues. But the Merck Index is one place that I turn to, as do many others. If we look at vitamin K1 in the Merck Index, we find it's called phyloquinone, which is slightly different from the original name we saw of phytomenodione. This is typical of chemicals. They can have many synonyms. But this is vitamin K1. Notice the orientation around the double bond. Notice two stereocenters. If we look online, let's first of all confirm this chemical structure. This is chemical abstract service common chemistry. This chemical has a CAS registry number of 84-80-0. Remember that we'll need it again. There are a whole series here of synonyms for vitamin K1. Phytononodione is there, phytomenodione is there, phyloquinone is there. The, th the two that we've already seen have shown up here, but there are many, many more synonyms. As I said, chemicals can have a lot of chemical names. Here is the chemical structure. The orientation that we saw in the Merck index is preserved around the double bond. It's an E orientation. And here we see an R, R stereo centers in the side chain. Now let's go and look at some other databases that we might want to uh, use to source information. Let's look in Wikipedia. Vitamin K. The orientation around the double bond is as expected. The side chain, there's no stereochemistry. None. It's nowhere not to be shown. That's interesting. What about Wolfram Alpha? Search on vitamin K1. Ah, gives us the correct chemical name, phytonodione. However, it doesn't show us the stereochemistry in the side chain. There isn't any shown. Hmm. There's also no stereochemistry in the UPAC name. What about if we search in PubChem? Vitamin K1 in PubChem. We do a search. There are 10 phyloquinone, phytononodione, we see these chemical names showing up, phyloquinone, phyloquinone, phyloquinone. They've all come up as vitamin K1. Well, hold on, there's 10 of them. Vitamin K1, vitamin K1, vitamin K1. There's 10 of them. I don't know which one of those is the correct one. Let's go to another one that people commonly use, drug bank. Drug bank is also curated. Phyloquinone, phytomenodione, vitamin K1. All the synonyms we would expect. Brand names. Even the cash registry number that we saw, 8480-0, is there. What about the chemical structure? Oh, that's not good. Ambiguous around the double bond and no stereochemistry in the side chain. That's not quite right. Let's go to Kemble. This is from the EBI, European Bioinformatics Institute. Vitamin K1.
this chemical structure when inspected actually is correct it gives us the double bond orientation that we would expect and the RR stereochemistry good for you Campbell good curation what about keg also very well known Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes let's do a search here vitamin K1 we want the drug form phytonodione Yeah, here's the chemical names we would expect. There's the structure. Ah, perfect. Good orientation around the double bond, but no stereochemistry. But this is keg. People trust keg. The cast number is correct. Oh, it's got the link to drug bank, but we know the drug bank is wrong. And pub chem, only one of the ten linked. Maybe the right one, maybe not. Here's one we know about. This is ChemSpider. This is a database of almost 25 million chemicals that we're curating, that we invite the public and the community to participate in curating the data. This is one we know about. Vitamin K1, the correct double bond orientation, and the RR stereochemistry shown on the molecule, and also available here in the systematic name. Oof. that's pretty tough I'm trying, just trying to figure out the structure of vitamin K1 there's a lot of errors out there on the web this is only an example of the types of challenges you find when you're trying to find correct data on the web for what is actually a very simple compound a double bond where orientation is important and only two stereocenters by figuring out something more complex where more stereochemistry is available more double bond orientation very very challenging I'm going to give some more examples of this sometime follow me on Twitter or my blog or you can pick up my slides on numerous other related issues out on SlideShare thank you